friend. Uh, let's go on and move into some NFL talk, which isn't actually about the league itself or the players or whatever, but, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting nonetheless. Peyton Manning was on with Rich Eisen today, and he is uh, the, the white whale, right? Like, he, he is who every broadcast network wants to come in to work NFL games. I don't necessarily know that he's going to be great at it. I would assume he is. Um, you know, and, and if you watch the match over the weekend, which, according to the numbers, which were astronomical, it looks like everybody did. Uh, you would have to assume he's going to be really good at keeping no, an audience him, engaged. Put right? him in front of a camera, and he's, he's gold. Put a mic in his face, and he is just television gold. 100%. Like, there were some that are surprising, like Tony Romo. I don't think any of us Yeah, no, I never, I never foresaw that at all. No. Never, never thought Romo would be anywhere as good as he is. So, he's, so Manning has been courted by major networks, for broad, and, and ESPN is the one that, you know, will give you $15 million. We'll give you $20 yeah. million a year. Like, they were throwing please. out big, big numbers for somebody who's never done it before. Right. But he has not ended up in the booth. However, per this report... That doesn't mean that we're never going to hear his voice calling NFL games. Uh, He was on Rich Eisen today. This is what he told him. He said, I haven't said no forever. I've said no to this year. This just doesn't feel like the right time. He said, "Uh, I hate sort of having this sort of check with me next year type deal, but that's really how I've approached this chapter of my life. I believe in taking it a year at a time. Kind of your thing, right? So you don't know if you're going to make it the next 100 days or not. (laughs) That's right. Uh, He said, said, that's kind of what Eli's doing. I don't really have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan. I hear people say that. Uh, I love playing football. I loved everything about it. I've just tried to ease into the second chapter by keeping myself busy, keeping myself stimulated, creating a lot of time for my family, and do some things I haven't had a chance to do. I love watching the games. I love going to games. It's just not in the cards for me right now. So, if you are wanting Peyton Manning to eventually end up in the booth, this is a good sign. Because he's not saying he's never going to do it, and that's not who he is. He's saying, eh, I'm just not really interested in it. And I can understand that, right? Because, you know, initially, when you and I started this, it was, yeah, we really want to cover football. We want to really do this. But, eh, you know, if I want to take a weekend trip to wherever and, and I don't want to have to pay attention to all the games all the time, well, then I'd prefer to do that, you know? Now, you and I are in a position where, you know, We'll be we'll be covering games every Saturday. And it's a responsibility. Yes. So and yeah, it's a job. And, it's a, it's and a responsibility. if you're Peyton Manning, who has been playing for years and years and years, and you know, yes, he retired however many years ago, but you're still kind of new to this retirement thing. If you are enjoying your life and you don't want to have to answer to anybody, and you want to be able to go to whatever game you want to go to and not be told what game you are doing. Have at it. Do your thing, and then when you get a little older and you want to come back to a little more responsibility and whatnot, then you can do it. I think this is great. My my other thought from this is I don't see him signing a Romo-type deal worth a lot of years. I would venture to say if he chose to do it, he would sign a bunch of one-year deals. Yeah. You could not plan 10 years around him. He's not giving you that commitment. And I'll tell you this, if I was him, I wouldn't either, by the way. I wouldn't either. If I made that kind of money and had the life he has, I would do exactly what he's doing. He's staying creative. He's doing Peyton places. Like, he's he's still producing. He's still creating content. It's around the game of football. It's around whatever he wants it to be around. He's always entertaining. He's always great. But he gets to come and go as he pleases. He gets to make a new episode when he wants to. And if he wants to take two, three weeks off, then he can take two, three weeks off. And that's just whatever he wants to do, he gets to do. He doesn't have to ask anybody's permission to go on Turner and do the match. You know, if he was an (laughs) ESPN employee, you might not get the match. Yeah, that's true. Uh, ESPN's got to cover it or we're not doing it. Like, you know, it's one of those things where you can't, you can't have Peyton. If you, well, I don't want to ask permission to who I can hang out with. Yeah. He would have uh, to ask permission to go on Rich Eisen's show today. I don't want to ask permission. I just want to wake up and point. say, yeah, Rich Rich wants to talk. Let, let's do it Thursday. Call me. Yeah, I like uh, I like your thinking there. I'm I'm excited about the idea. Uh, because, I want him to be in the yeah. booth at least once because I find him incredibly entertaining. And, and, I, and I'll never stop saying this. I want somebody to write them a sitcom. That's what I want. 
I, I want a, a television series on Netflix, wherever, where I can just stream them and the Mannings are in my life. Yeah, I'd be good with that. I'd be I'd be really good with that. We uh restream is having problems today. Let me tell you. We we got disconnected. We're back up and, and running, but whew, good gracious. I'm uh, I'm glad that we're recording today's uh video and the podcast because we people lost us for about two minutes there. So let's uh let's go ahead and close out. Let's talk about